In 2005, Rabbi Meir came over to me and uh, presented this idea that we should start a yeshiva, a base medrash for first, second year base medrash. I went to Rabbi Shmuel Kamenetsky, Shlita, to discuss the idea with him, and he thought it was a good idea, and uh, we decided to start. They had something in mind and what type of learning they wanted to accomplish, well-rounded people who are versed in not only the depth of the Torah, but the breadth of Torah should become something that should become part of them. It was a small yeshiva. That was the goal, not to be too big, so everyone can get their own personal relationship with the Rosh Yeshiva. We all got to have our own Chavrus with Rosh Yeshiva, Mashkichim. We're all growing together, staying together. The Bachram that started the base Medrash, every single one of them grew tremendously. Taking the responsibility to make something happen was a life changer. It made the stamp of the Ruach of the Yeshiva the type of bacher that's part of the yeshiva, a bacher who's a Baal Midas Taivais, learns Bahasmada and has she'ifas to grow in all areas. Four years ago, the yeshiva embarked on a new undertaking with the start of the Masifta. They would be able to inculcate all the ideals from a young age. This way they'd be able to, to come from 9th to a 10th to an 11th until they came to older teens. They'd have the impact of all their tutelage throughout the years. We try very much to inspire the Bachran to grow in their learning and they should want to be Chachamim and also develop a Kesher with the Rabbeim. The Rosh Yeshiva have a, a unique warmth with every Talmud. They take a personal interest in their success, in their well-being in every way. It's not even that they're going out of their way to be warm, it's just it's naturally the way they interact with everybody. They want to understand you, they want to talk to you, they work with your strengths and your weaknesses so you could be the best you. The vision of the yeshiva was to speak to Talmudim, educate them, bring out their personalities, who they are. Not to fit into a mold necessarily, but to just be who they are and serve Hashem in that way, in that form. Rabbi Roth has this relationship with Talmidim as they grow from grade to grade, taking each Bachar as a personal individual and making them into a Ben Torah of their own. While, of course, learning Torah is the primary focus, they recognize the importance for the boys to have a full secular general studies education and they give full backing to all the subject matter and all the things that we teach. Every boy in Carteret is proud and is happy and is growing and is accomplishing in their days in Yeshiva. Now that the first graduating class is about to enter into the base Medrash, we're coming full circle and it's a simcha to see the seeds that were planted and the plants that were developed by the first Bachim in Yeshiva. Every Bachar that was in left his mark, he left his mark on the Rabbeim, left his mark on the Yeshiva. They contributed a certain standard of learning, a certain standard of Avaida, a certain standard of Achrayas. It's not just that they were in a place and they learned in that place, but everybody today is affected by what they did. When alumni come back and see the Yeshiva flourishing, they should be proud. They had a part in this and that's forever, it's everlasting. The yeshiva continues to grow through their chizuk that continues to come in through, through their support, their visits, their uh, connection to the yeshiva. But only hope and daven that just as we've had tremendous siyata dishmaya over the past 15 years through the base medrash, through the developing of the masifta, so too we should be zaycha to continue to watch and see the Paris of being married by Shemayim and the Bachan that will come out of the Masifta and the Beis Medrash Bazar Sashem in the future.